I'm Charlie Stevens, and I'm going to take you through New York City's neighborhoods that are rapidly evolving to learn the history of the area and meet with the innovative business leaders that have shaped the city. We'll hear their journey to success and pick up on some tips along the way. It's time to get inspired and grow. This is New York City Culture. Gonna get up and go. This is culture. We're here in the heart of the Garment District, also known as the Fashion Center, bounded by 42nd Street to 34th, 9th Avenue to 5th Avenue, which was born in the 1850s with the invention of the sewing machine, which made it affordable for Americans to buy their own clothes rather than make it at home. Officer. Today, this is the fashion center of the world, and we're gonna go talk to one of the fastest growing, innovative celebrity entertainment fashion brand ownership company, Authentic Brands Group. Let's go. As we walk into the lobby of 1411 Broadway, which was built in 1969 on the site of the old Metropolitan Opera House, it's the premier office tower in the fashion district and home to Authentic Brands Group, which owns 33 brands that include Juicy Couture, Muhammad Ali, Neil Lane, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, Shaquille O'Neal, manages Michael Jackson's brand, and recently bought Nautica. Nick, appreciate your time coming on the Culture Podcast and the uh, live studio audience we have here getting filmed today. Uh, so I just want to talk about authentic brands. First of all, I think the name is outstanding. It's like my favorite name of any company I've heard so far. I think it really resonates with me because everything's a brand. I mean, I'm a brand, you're a brand, you know, sure. shoes are brand and everything. And authenticity is such a key part of that. If you're not authentic, you know, the brand gets diminished and it's not real. But sure. I'm curious what it means to you, uh, authentic brands. Well, I think you're right in today's day and age. I mean, everyone thinks they're a brand, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's really just happened the last three or four years. And authenticity is lacking in a lot of those, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's an individual's brand or it's a, uh, or it's an actual brand as we know it from a consumer standpoint. And authenticity to me means always going back to the roots of, of the DNA of the brand. And the interesting thing though is, is you can, the, the DNA at its core needs to remain, but it's very easy to pivot off of that DNA. Mm -hmm. So authentic to me means staying true to what the brand represents, but at the same time, being okay with stretching or pivoting a little bit while still remaining true to that DNA. I like to talk about the three C's a lot uh, for me, which is you know conviction, uh, communication, and uh, and challenge, and that, that idea that. We, if people have if people have an idea if they have conviction for that idea I'm a, I'm a big believer in that if you truly believe in the idea and it fits within our frameworks you should go do it right. communication have you told everyone about it you know uh, have you brought in your teammates if you're gonna work in a in a silo doesn't work that idea will never work and then challenge expect put guidelines and mileposts down so you I you, you can manage expectations can you give us a favorite quote or saying or just a, uh, you know, uh, a motto to live by that you have? Words to live by, any any. Sort of sure, I'll give you two. Good. One is when you're green, you're growing, and when you're ripe, you're rotting. And I like to think all that, because, you know, say someone will say your business is at maturity or you've reached your zenith, then you're ripe. Like, and I mean that, like, someone will pick the ripe peach off the tree, right? Right. It's the tastiest. Mm -hmm. But that peach has nowhere to go, right? It's going downhill from there if it doesn't get eaten. But if it's green, right, or in the peach's case, if it's hard, right, it's got a lot of room to ripen. Mm -hmm. So you always got to think to yourself, be green, be green. So you're growing. And the second one is from a, a, a good friend of mine. Uh, it's been modified throughout the years. Uh, the the uh, uh, you know, Arguably the greatest cyclist that ever lived, Lance Armstrong, where I was asking him once, we're talking about business and, and whatnot, and I said to him, you know, Lance, when you're riding your bike, you know, as you get fitter, it must get easier. Like you don't have as much lactic acid in yeah. your legs. Yeah. He's like, no, it doesn't get any easier. You just go faster, right? And I thought to myself, he's right. Like business never gets easier. Mm -hmm. You could be in the top of the world. It just allows you to go faster and to do more, right? It right. never gets, I still get up early in the morning. I still have a thousand emails a day. I had a thousand emails when we started this company eight years ago, right? It doesn't get any easier. You just do more and you, go, and you go faster. Same thing as in sport. Another great piece of advice the same guy gave me is I said, Lance, how do I ride my bike faster? And he said, 
I got it. I said, how? And he said, ride your bike faster. And I said, what do you mean? Because I, I didn't get it. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, ride your bike faster. I said, that's good advice. That's how you ride your bike faster. You ride your bike faster, right? So that, that the simpleness, the, mm -hmm. the simplicity of that, and I say that to people all the time here. You know, how do we, how do we make this ad better? How do we make the ad better? How do we sell more shoes? Sell more shoes. I love it. I appreciate your time. That's all we got. And uh, thank you very much. Talk soon. Thank, thank you. Fun. Yes. Authentic Brands Group only looks to continue to grow internationally and take over the fashion industry. For more information, go to charlienyc.com. And thanks for watching.